don't forget to subscribe. Afterwards the wisest and most spiritual books from the greatest authors await you every day. And now buckle up, sit back and we'll begin. Inflowing thoughts come to an end in those who are ever alert of mind, training themselves night and day, and ever intent on Nirvana Gautama Buddha. Love is a gift of one's innermost soul to another so both can be whole. Live happily, not hating even those who are hostile. Live peacefully even amongst those that hate. May all that have life be delivered from suffering. Do not give up your authority and follow blindly the will of others. This way will lead to only delusion. One is not a great one because one defeats or harms other living beings. One is so called because one refrains from defeating or harming other living beings. A noble person is mindful and thankful for the favors he receives from others. Don't believe a teaching just because you've heard it from a man who's supposed to be holy, or because it's contained in a book supposed to be holy, or because all your friends and neighbors believe it. But whatever you've observed and analyzed for yourself and found to be reasonable and good, then accept that and put it into practice. You are what you think about. Sustaining a loving heart, even for a moment, makes one a spiritual being. Seeing the similarity to oneself, one should not use violence or have it used. Temperance is a tree which has for its root very little contentment, and for its fruit calm and peace. Do not vainly lament, but do wonder at the rule of transiency and learn from it the emptiness of human life. Do not cherish to unworthy desire that the changeable might become unchanging. Born out of concern for all beings. The gift of the truth beats all other gifts. The flavor of the truth beats all other tastes. The joy of the truth beats all other joys, and the cessation of desire conquers all suffering. Turn away from mischief. Again and again, turn away. Before sorrow befalls you. Live every act fully, as if it were your last. When a man has pity on all living creatures then only is he noble. That which goeth up must needs come down, and that which is down must needs go up. But Brahma has ordained that the that that goeth up is seldom the same as the that that hath gone down. Don't give way to heedlessness or do intimacy with sensual delight, for a heedful person, absorbed in jhana, attains an abundance of ease. I have the true Dharma I, the marvelous mind of nirvana, the true form of the formless, and the subtle dharma gate, independent of words and transmitted beyond doctrine. This I have entrusted to Mahakashyapa, without approval and without scorn, but carefully studying the sentences word by word, one should trace them in the discourses and verify them by the discipline. If they are neither traceable in the discourses nor verifiable by the discipline, one must conclude thus, certainly, this is not the blessed one's utterance, this has been misunderstood by that bhikkhu, or by that community, or by those elders, or by that elder. In that way, bhikkhus, you should reject it. Know all things to be like this, a mirage, a cloud castle, a dream, an apparition, without essence, but with qualities that can be seen. Know all things to be like this, as the moon in a bright sky and some clear lake reflected, though to that lake the moon has never moved. Know all things to be like this, as an echo that derives from music, sounds, and weeping, 
yet in that echo is no melody. Know all things to be like this, as a magician makes illusions of horses, oxen, carts and other things, nothing is as it appears. Those which arise dependently are free of inherent existence. Be lamps unto yourselves, be your own confidence. Hold truth within yourselves. And so, with a boundless heart should one cherish all living beings. By whomsoever no evil is done in deed, or word, or thought, him I call a Brahmin, holy man, who is guarded in these three. Abstain from all sinful, unwholesome actions, perform only pious wholesome ones, purify the mind, this is the teaching of enlightened ones. The method of trying to conquer hatred through hatred never succeeds in overcoming hatred. But, the method of overcoming hatred through non-hatred is eternally effective. That is why that method is described as eternal wisdom. If a man speaks or acts with a pure thought, happiness follows him, like a shadow that never leaves him. He is able who think he is able. Do not believe in anything simply because you have heard it. Do not believe in anything simply because it is spoken and rumored by many. Do not believe in anything simply because it is found written in your religious books. Do not believe in anything merely on the authority of your teachers and elders. When one, abandoning greed, feels no greed for what would merit greed, greed gets shed from him, like a drop of water from a lotus leaf. Keeping away for all evil deeds, cultivation of life by doing good deeds and purification of mind from mental impunities. For all mortals, birth is suffering, aging is suffering, sickness is suffering. The discipline which I have imparted to you will lead you when I am gone. Practice mindfulness diligently, to attain the goal of awakening. I manifested in a dreamlike way to dreamlike beings and gave a dreamlike dharma, but in reality I never taught and never actually came. Live in joy and love even among those who hate, live in joy and peace even among the troubled. Fill your mind with compassion. The real Brahman is the one who, has crossed beyond duality, knows no this shore, other shore, or both, is, settled in mind, without inflowing thoughts, is without attachment, endures undisturbed criticism, ill treatment and bonds, and is, strong in patience, is, without anger, devout, upright, free from craving, disciplined and in his last body, has experienced the end of his suffering here in this life, who has set down the burden, freed. As a single drop of water fills a bucket, so do small deeds of evil, as a single drop of water fills a bucket, so do small deeds of good. You yourself must earnestly practice, the enlightened ones only proclaim the path. Like a caring mother holding and guarding the life of her only child, so with a boundless heart of loving kindness, hold yourself and all beings as your beloved children. Just as the great oceans have but one taste, the taste of salt, so too there is but one taste fundamental to all true teachings of the way, and this is the taste of freedom. If there is only empty space, with no suns nor planets in it, then space loses its substantiality. If a man should conquer in battle a thousand and a thousand more, and another should conquer himself, his would be the greater victory, because the greatest of victories is the victory over oneself. 
When the sleeping snake is gone, then you can rest at ease. Sound health is the greatest of gifts, contentedness, the greatest of riches, trust, the greatest of qualities. Wisdom makes light the darkness of ignorance. You must use the hook of precepts to quickly remove it. If a person does not harm any living being, and does not kill or cause others to kill, that person is a true spiritual practitioner. In the light of his vision that is the perspective that allows him to be grateful that things are not worse he has found his freedom and joy, his thoughts are peace, his words are peace and his work is peace. It is better to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. This life of separateness may be compared to a dream, a phantasm, a bubble, a shadow, a drop of dew, a flash of lightning. It is our minds that create this world. Speak only endearing speech, speech that is welcomed. Speech when it brings no evil to others, is pleasant. In our interactions with others, gentleness, kindness, respect tear the source of harmony. All composite things pass away. Strive for your own liberation with diligence. Not by mere eloquence, nor by handsome appearance, does a man become good-natured, should he be jealous, selfish and deceitful. You are all the Buddha. Give thanks for what had been given to you. However little. Be pure, never falter. Do not believe what you have heard. Do not believe in tradition because it is handed down many generations. Do not believe in anything that has been spoken of many times. Do not believe because the written statements come from some old sage. Do not believe in conjecture. Do not believe in authority or teachers or elders. But after careful observation and analysis, when it agrees with reason and it will benefit one and all, then accept it and live by it. The true master lives in truth, in goodness and restraint, non-violence, moderation, and purity. Being able to make friends and keep them, welcoming others and sharing with them, a guide, philosopher and friend. One like this will be praised. Fashion your life as a garland of beautiful deeds. Now this, monks, is the noble truth of suffering. Birth is suffering, aging is suffering, illness is suffering, death is suffering, union with what is displeasing is suffering, separation from what is pleasing is suffering. In brief, the five aggregates subject to clinging are suffering. Therefore, be islands unto yourselves, be your own refuge, have recourse to none else for refuge. Hold fast to the Dharma as a refuge, resort to no other refuge, whosoever, either now or after I am gone, shall be islands unto themselves, shall seek no eternal refuge, it is they, among my disciples who shall reach the very topmost height. But they must be keen to progress. Though thousand times a thousand in battle one may conquer, yet should one conquer just oneself, one is the greatest conqueror. Purity or impurity depends on oneself. No one can purify another. Thus shall ye think of all this fleeting world, as star at dawn, a bubble in a stream a flash of lightning in a summer cloud a flickering lamp, a phantom, and a dream. Never in the world does hatred cease by hatred, hatred ceases by love. The self of which you speak, 
whether it is the great self or the small self, is only a concept that does not correspond to any reality. Hatred is never appeased by hatred in this world. By non-hatred alone is hatred appeased. This is a law eternal. I, ever knowing the living beings who tread the path and those who do not in response to those who may be saved preach to them a variety of dharmas, each time having this thought, how may I cause the beings to contrive to enter the unexcelled path and quickly to perfect the Buddha body? Do not accept what you hear by report, do not accept tradition, do not accept a statement because it is found in our books, nor because it is in accord with your belief, nor because it is the saying of your teacher. Be lamps unto yourselves. Those who, either now or after I am dead, shall rely upon themselves only and not look for assistance to anyone besides themselves, it is they who shall reach the topmost height. If I had even a slight awareness, and practiced the great way, what I would fear would be deviating from it. You yourself must strive. The Buddhas only point the way. When you have great joy, you will become Buddhas. Just as you have come to know, the false discrimination of yourself, apply this mentally to all phenomena. Focus not on the rudeness of others, not on what they've done or left undone, but on what you have done and have not done yourself. As a flower that is lovely and beautiful, but is scentless, even so fruitless is the well-spoken word of one who practices it not. Drink deeply. Live in serenity and joy. Pain is the outcome of sin. Whoever sees me sees the teaching, and whoever sees the teaching sees me. There are friendships to one who lives in society, thus our present grief arises from having friendships, observing the evils resulting from friendship, let one walk alone like a rhinoceros. As long as one feels that he is the doer, he cannot escape from the wheel of births. It is because of their tranquil thoughts that creatures go to prosperity. Just as the bee takes the nectar and leaves without damaging the color or scent of the flowers, so should the sage act in a village. Seeing the way is like going into a dark room with a torch, the darkness instantly departs, while the light alone remains. When the way is attained and the truth is seen, ignorance vanishes and enlightenment abides forever. Buddha is in our hearts. Buddha is in our mouths. Buddha is in our daily lives. Having abandoned the taking of life, refraining from killing, we dwell without violence, with the knife laid down, scrupulous, full of mercy, trembling with compassion for all sentient beings. The world, indeed, is like a dream and the treasures of the world are an alluring mirage. Like the apparent distances in a picture, things have no reality in themselves, but they are like heat haze. The good shine from afar like the snowy Himalayas. The bad don't appear even when near, like arrows shot into the night. Wherever there is possession of marks, there is fraud, wherever there is no possession of no marks, there is no fraud. Hence the Tathagata is to be seen from no marks as marks. Meat eating is condemned by the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and Sravakas, if one devours meat out of shamelessness he will always be devoid of sense. You yourself must make an effort. Buddhas are only show the way. The thoughtful who enter the way are freed from the bondage of defilements. K.
careful amidst the careless, amongst the sleeping wide awake, the intelligent man leaves them all behind, like a racehorse does a mere hack. Analyzing through special insight and realizing the lack of inherent existence constitute understanding of the signless. The root of suffering is attachment. Let the disciple cultivate love without measure towards all beings. Let him cultivate towards the whole world, above, below, around, a heart of love unstinted. For in all the world this state of heart is best. Let no person think lightly of good, saying in his or her heart, it will not benefit me. As by the falling of raindrops a jar of water is filled, so the wise person becomes full of good, even though he or she collects it little by little. Gautama Buddha And that's not all, our experts and regular viewers respond to all comments. Also check if you forgot to subscribe and set your bell to receive notifications about new audiobooks and other useful self-development materials that we release regularly. Join in the discussions, don't forget to give likes and, if possible and inspired, support the development of the channel financially. All useful links will be in the description and the first attached comment. Goodness love and wisdom to all. And now move on to watch the next part of the video at the links below, or choose something from the playlists of the channel and those you see on the screen.